We had a great question from a viewer the other week. What are the pros and cons of retiring in Japan? What are you looking forward to and what are you afraid of? Let's talk about it. So first of all, I think that's a great question. And while we've kind of gone into it a little bit on the channel, we haven't really addressed it in full before. Now, just to keep this manageable, I'm going to just talk about four things in each category. So the pros of retiring in Japan from my perspective, the cons of retiring in Japan, things I'm looking forward to and things I'm a little bit scared of. So the pros of retiring in Japan from my perspective, the first one is that Japan is relatively safe compared to some other countries. It's very unlikely that you're going to have any kind of violence, uh, especially random street violence in Japan. Obviously it's possible, but my general impression is you really have to go looking for it. And I think it makes for a more relaxed and less stressful uh, experience. Slightly related to this, I think Japan is actually a pretty good place to be old. You see lots of old people here and they're fairly active, they're living kind of happy lives, active lives, they're part of the community, they're respected by the community and that again is of quite a nice contrast to some countries. I think Japan has reasonable healthcare, I think there's a good balance here between affordability and access to healthcare, so you do have to pay for healthcare to a certain extent, but the flip side is that you pretty much have access to healthcare whenever you need it. So if you need to go to the doctor today, you can generally find a clinic that will see you, uh, unless it's at night or on the weekend. And the fourth reason is Japan is a fairly low cost place to live. So rents are low, food is reasonably priced, restaurants are very reasonably priced, travel is reasonable. Everything's not too bad. And the kind of lifestyle that I plan to live you know, in retirement is very, very affordable. It's very much within our means. And those for me are the top four reasons that retiring in Japan would be good. Now, the cons of retiring in Japan. So here are some things that I think are maybe not so great in terms of retiring in Japan. The first one is natural disasters. So I went through the 311 disaster in Sendai. It was very unpleasant, but we were fairly young, very adaptable. Obviously it was stressful, but we kind of managed to roll with it. I think going through the same experience when you're older is going to be a lot less fun. So looking at the Noto Peninsula news, you know, a lot of the residents are elderly, they needed care and they weren't necessarily getting it. They're still not necessarily getting it. So for me, that's a pretty nightmare situation where you're in a natural disaster, you know, the, the basics of life are not available, you're older, you might have diminished capacity and that's just going to be incredibly unpleasant and stressful and possibly dangerous for you as well. Next reason why retiring in Japan might not be an attractive option is economic uncertainty. So Japan has all sorts of issues to do with the economy, to do with demographics, to do with the availability of food and other resources and it's a little bit uncertain how that's going to play out. I'm hoping Japan will be able to transition through these big issues so that quality of life is not too affected but I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't know how that's going to play out in the future. And the fourth reason for me, uh, and this is possibly something to do with kind of recency bias because it's something I've been thinking about a lot recently, but it's very expensive to leave Japan at the moment with the weak currency. And so taking trips abroad or possibly even moving to a different country is going to be very, very challenging. Uh, things are far more expensive than they were just a couple of years ago due to the weak yen. So I don't know what's going to happen in the future with the yen. It might strengthen, it might weaken further, but at the moment that seems like a bit of a negative for Japan. Now on a personal level, things I'm looking forward to if I retire in Japan, number one would be getting to know the country better. So I'm planning to travel a lot more once I fully retire hoping to visit all those places that haven't been yet like Totori or you know 
parts of Hokkaido other than Sapporo or the other islands in Okinawa or even Shikoku, bits of Kansai, the area around Tokyo, even parts of Tohoku that I haven't that I haven't explored yet. So for me, spending a lot more time in Japan, in different areas in Japan, is a huge benefit of retiring here. And slightly related to that, I want to find more places in Japan that I like. So right now, Miyakojima is a huge favorite. I kind of went there for the first time last year and loved it from the start. That's somewhere that I want to be spending a lot more time. I'd like to find somewhere in Hokkaido that would be nice to spend summers, for example, that we vibe with. Uh, and basically, yeah, just finding those special places that you like being in, because that's how I enjoy doing things. I'd rather find somewhere I like and go there regularly than go to lots of different places. Spending much more time driving and cycling and walking in Japan is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Whether that's driving around the entire country, walking some of the trails that are popping up now, like the Michinoku Trail or the New Fukushima Trail, uh, uh, the trail in Shikoku with the pilgrimages and stuff. Really interesting and I'd love to get to know the country on a more intimate level in that way. And the final thing I'm looking forward to, and this isn't limited to Japan, but just doing everything off-peak. Japan very much runs on a schedule so that if you do things at the same time as everyone else, it's incredibly crowded and expensive and difficult, but if you can do them on a different schedule, if you can go shopping in the evening on weekdays, if you can go skiing on weekdays, if you can go on holiday in November instead of August, then it makes a huge difference. There's no crowds, everything's cheaper, everything's easier. So for me, just doing everything off peak is gonna be really fun, I think. And then finally, what I'm afraid of. So I think for me, my biggest fear about retiring in Japan, about staying in Japan for the rest of my life is being lonely. So I've been very busy the last couple of decades. I've always had at least two or three jobs going at the same time. And my personality, I'm a bit of an introvert. I like spending time on my own. I like spending time writing and reading. And so I don't have that many friends that I see a lot. I've got friends in Sendai that, you know, I have lunch with every so often and we're gonna hang out. Uh, I've got friends at home. I stay in touch with, I've got friends at Jiu Jitsu that I chat to when I go to Jiu Jitsu but there's not a really deep connection. And I wouldn't say that I have a lot of very close friends. And that's something that worries me as I see myself getting older. You know, I spend a lot of time with my family, but that's not really enough, I think. I think friends are very important. I think close friends are very, very important. And so that's something that worries me and something that maybe I want to make more time for in the future. I'm afraid of natural disasters. So, you know, having been through one and seeing others on the news, natural disasters are very common here in Japan and I can imagine that they're actually going to get worse with climate change and the economic kind of decline of Japan. Japan might be less able to deal with natural disasters. It might face bigger natural disasters. So that's definitely a worry, uh, thinking about retiring here. Kind of related, wanting to leave and not being able to, whether that's financially or logistically or practically. And this isn't really a Japan thing. This, this would apply whichever country you chose to settle in. But just that idea of making that commitment to that country and, and not having the flexibility that I've had so far, it feels like a big step and it is something that scares me slightly. And the last one is not being able to get the right kind of medical care or you know, nursing care if I needed it. This really wasn't a concern before, but since the age of 40, I've had a few kind of medical issues and it can be incredibly frustrating dealing with doctors here uh, and maybe not being able to get the right diagnosis or the right treatment or the kind of treatment that you want. And I can imagine that getting worse as you get older. You know, you probably need more medical attention and it might be difficult to get the right kind of medical treatment. And of course, this is gonna apply everywhere, but that is something that worries me slightly. So how about you? Are you planning to retire in Japan? What are you looking forward to? And what are you afraid of? Leave us an answer in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.